Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Thank you. It's so nice having someone else do the intros for me. Now, let's check all the flow charts so I know what I'm doing Accessing and what I'm not doing. the story doing. chart. And I think I've decided what I want to do with Marcus this time around. Last time we went pacifist until humans started killing androids and then we started killing humans. I think this time around we're going to go the path of violence, but we're going to stop short of actually killing anyone whatsoever. Yeah, just skip that one entirely. And we did that, we did that. Let's see, the nest. This one I want to... Join Hank. There's an option to not join Hank. Be frank with Hank. Read the magazine. Talk to Hank. Don't talk to Hank. Uh, oh, this is before we even get there. So I'm guessing that's find a magazine somewhere. And this, I'm guessing, is the option if you got if you got Connor killed in the highway chase. And then Hank doesn't talk to you. Uh, yeah, I think those are the other options. And I think there's a magazine. Or no, these are two different ways of talking to him. Okay. So we got that to deal with. Investigate the apartment. Don't investigate the apartment. Dick around until he says it's time to go. And then we fail. Which, you know, is just one of many failure options that are available to us at any given time. Don't save Hank. Gaining on Rupert. I'm guessing this is... Yeah, you either fuck up the QTEs and Rupert gets away, or you get killed. <laughs> okay, I want to survive the Thresher, if I can. And maybe die on the train. I've never seen anyone like fall down the glass and then not deliberately kill themselves on the thresher. But I want him to get away. So maybe I should just get Connor killed. I don't want to do that one just yet. Or maybe I do. No. I want to fall down into the thresher and then see what happens after that. And then, I don't know, I'll let the train kill me if we get that option. So we'll see about that. And to decide. Well, Error did it. Oh, that was just a short inside Jericho scene. And then Zlatko's fucking house, which I completely buggered up last time. <laughs> So this time I want to... Uh, should I let him be... Let her be reset and then do all that stuff? Guessing this is some little inconsequential thing that I can find somewhere in his house. <laughs> Probably on the first floor. <laughs> Kill the guy in the bathroom. Oh, well, this must be one of those magazines with a different article depending on the stories. So we'll have to see what, what we get there. Maybe I will let her be reset. There seems to be a lot more options there. I'm not sure what the hell this is. Just a general failure state. Sneak through the house. Something, something. Search the house for Alice. Huh. Maybe I will let her be reset. There seems to be a lot more options there, and it pretty much leads to all the same stuff. Uh, 
the main room into the bedroom. Yeah, I really buggered up sneaking through the house last time. Okay. Hopefully I managed to do that a little better this time. Back at the chicken feed. Oh, hey. This is one thing I missed was listening in on this conversation here. You want to flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't get wrong. Yeah. yeah, it was scanning him. C60. Since expired May 20th, 2031. Renewal refused July 24th, 31. Okay. Sanitation rating C60. So his his license is is almost a decade expired. You had that yellow square a little too high up. Pedro Abdar. January 25th, 2005. Unemployed. Criminal record. Illegal gambling and fraud. Well, there's no surprise there. And yeah, him. I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. I'm sure he already does. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Only Look, if you don't you have to follow me. me around like a poodle. Uh, review fat. I thought now might be a good time to review what we know about deviants. No, now is not a good time to review anything. Now is my lunch break. So just go into standby and cut me some slack, okay? Yeah, I don't care to scan this fucking lunch oh. again. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Yes, Massa. See? Company. Company? I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother him. <laughs> this Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. I don't think any of these choices and actually matter to the flow chart. Yeah.
tank and androids. That was one I avoided last time. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. And those reasons are gonna change. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife <laughs> androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. What's the uh, locked thing? Because I know if you die, you pretty much miss out on this Maybe whole I conversation. Maybe you know about deviants. You read my mind. Maybe it has something to do with Tara. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. Hank's turned to look stupid. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yep. A few months back. I thought for sure the sacrifice self option would gone. wind up having Daniel and Connor going off the edge. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Nope. Uh... I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. And I didn't even have to scan I your desk to find that out. I also know you received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Psychological. I know you're an experienced officer, and I'd like to earn your trust. I'm sure we can solve this case if we manage to work together. Yay! I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Stay behind me. Got it. This time we're gonna read that magazine. Thank you, Hank. Go that way. Eh. Let's see. Red Ice Epidemic, the latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. Yeah, they call it Red Ice, but they use the same formula as cocaine, from what I've been told. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute. UN warns of World War III. Synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As Cyberlife's androids spread across the country, they will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women, desperate to make ends meet, are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Is that, are they saying that red ice is cheap? Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in android blue blood, is among the active agents in red ice. Okay. I'm pr I'm assuming that therium is a fictitious element and that it's not part of the actual chemical composition of cocaine. Among the active agents in red ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention 
say the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto, where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. <laughs> Green Earth past the tipping point. Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Oh, yay. Bees officially extinct. Global famine to follow. Lovely! <coughs> Environmentalists have long warned us about the tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since 2000, and coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there's now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Uh, never say never, buddy. Let's not forget the last few ice ages we've had. Jason Reese, head of the Global Environment Agency, said, This study confirms that many of us, what many of us have suspected for a long time. But the real calamity is the linked, de the linked decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is how fast. Yay, we're fucked! Thanks for waiting. What the fuck is this? And we're just going through the motions now. I still think it's ridiculous that he doesn't tell Hank anything after figuring out that the guy's still here. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Yeah. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh, maybe you want to mention that the guy is still here? No? Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Alright. Maybe I won't fuck up all the QTE events until I get to the Thresher. go fast but risky this time. I don't know how that was risky. Balanced. How did you know he was an android? He took out his LED, for Christ's sake! Safer detour. Okay, here we go. I messed this one up. <laughs> oh my god, move your ass! Why is the train stopped this time?
take the roof again and see what happens if you don't go into any of the windows. Have to. Okay, I guess we save Hank again. So I don't want any path leading to Jericho. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. So, why does falling in front of the thresher stop the train? We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. I don't think I did anything very different that time. Yeah, I did not do a single thing any different that time, damn it. Warn Hank about his friends. That was the one thing we did different. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is definitely the fart around and don't do nothing. Gaining on Rupert, save Hank. Yeah, we did that exactly the same. So it's either kill yourself or... Okay, catch him, kill yourself, or fuck up the QTE so bad that you don't even have the option of saving Hank. He just gets away. Okay. Still got a few more times with this scene, then. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Uh, How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Yeah, I passed three of them Jesus on the way here. Humans have little pity for our kind. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Seems like an odd option, given what, uh, I just said. Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now, I need to decide who I really am. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. I don't think we have to mess around with anything here. Although there were a few different dialogue options with North. I think they wanted to have fun. You would think that all these damaged androids filtering through the same train station would draw attention. I don't want to shut down.
interesting how the, all these androids are standing around in darkness, and yet as soon as I light a fire, they all gather around it, even though they don't need heat. Let's turn the lights on before we chat with North. And just like that, we get a blue arrow out of her. Uh, a lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. <laughs> well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Nothing about herself. Perfect. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. We're slowly dying out. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Yeah, not all of us. Do you know what happens after drink this? No. No, I don't. I really wish they had uh, done more to explain Lucy. Sit down. Like, we can find out about North's past, but we can't find anything out about Simon or Josh or Lucy or hardly anyone else here. They don't really go into a whole lot of explanation into how their skin and hair works. It almost seems like a hologram until Alice, uh, Kara cuts her hair. Imagine it's probably some kind of synthetic fiber, but how they're able to spontaneously grow and disintegrate it, they really don't explain. Give me your hand. No. Seriously, isn't the part that was in your head vital to your function? Simon. Spare parts. Take what we want. Weapons? Maybe. It's worth a try. I'm in. Yeah, we already got everything the first time, so nothing new here.